Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, we're going to do our day 3 of our 30 days challenge. Um, uh, we are starting like a little um, mini series. Okay, it's, We're going to do this media soup um, tutorial for the next 5 days. Um, for today, uh, we're going to do the basic stuff first. We're going to have to create our WebSocket server. Okay, and then we're gonna do we're gonna spend two to three days on the server side and we're going to write the server side with TypeScript because the complication of MediaSoup uh, it's probably easier for us to use TypeScript instead of plain JavaScript. But the client side we will I haven't decided yet, but uh, please leave comment what you like to see TypeScript or JavaScript. Okay. If you haven't subscribed, um Please subscribe. Uh, we doing a free 30 days challenge. We doing a one video per day, and uh, let's get started. Okay, first of all, we'll open a, our terminal, and we're going to create a new project. Okay, we'll go make our make a server directory, and we cd into that, and we do a yarn init y. Okay, uh, then let's open this in Visual Studio Code first. Okay, another thing is we need to init the TypeScript as well. T TSC init. Okay, and we get a TypeScript um, file here. And make a new folder. Okay, for the source. And make a new file. We'll call it as main TS. Okay, um, and we need to bring in a few packages. And then we make a starting script in our um, package.json. Okay. So the packages we need is uh, Express, obviously, and also we will need uh, WebSockets, which is WS. Okay, uh, I think that that is it for now. We will install the other stuff as we need it. Okay, cool. And let's make our starting script. Let's do it after the license. Start our scripts. Okay, we'll do a dev. Um, We'll do a debug, okay, so we can see all the um, media soup debug. Uh, that's in the media soup um, documentation, okay. Uh, we want to see all of them, okay, everything. TS node, okay, sorry, we need to install that as well. Uh, and we want to run it in source, okay. Okay, let's install that TS node. We'll go yarn at TS node, and we want to put it as a dev dependency, okay. Okay, since we're writing the script, okay, we need to add an index as well uh, because that's what it will look for to start off, okay? Okay, and here, pretty easy. We just gotta import uh, before we do that. Let's do a um, function here. Uh, we'll call it main export export main, okay? Then we call it in here from main, and we're going to run it like as soon as we hit this. Okay, cool. All right, we're done. And now on this main function, um, we will start doing our express stuff. Okay, we import express from express. Okay, we haven't got the types, okay? We will go and do that in a sec. Okay, but let's keep on writing it. It's HTTP. Okay, we won't use HTTPS for this tutorial. HTTP. Okay, and we'll import the WebSockets in as well. It's WebSocket from WS. Okay, and then go down the bottom. Uh, let's add those types and get rid of those red lines. So yarn add, uh, add sign, types express. I have it before, so types express and types uh, ws. Okay. Oops, sorry. Uh, we haven't put it in yet, have we? Okay, good. Sorry about that. We should put these in the diff. Uh, diff. Forgot to do that. <laughs> All right, cool. Those lines should disappear from now. Okay, looks good. All right, let's continue. Uh, let's start writing the express thing, and we'll put this uh, function as async. Okay, cons app. You probably know this pretty well if you use express before. 
and we'll go con server equals HTTP dot create server and we'll throw in the app and then we go web socket equals new web socket dot server and we need to pass the server in and also the path okay the path uh, means what path we want to use okay in our case we want to do a ws okay so our domain and then ws okay next we will do the port we'll use 8000 eh? okay and then we start the server.listen uh, port and we'll just console log this that it's started okay server started on port 8000 alright and we're going to create another file to part, uh, house all our web sockets fo folder uh, file let's make a folder and let's call this um, library okay lib create a new file okay we'll call it ws okay that's where we're going to put all our um, web socket uh, logics okay for now we're going to cons we'll call this web socket connection equals async and we're going to pass in the web socket from the front uh, from the main file to here so therefore this will have to be a type okay because we're using typescript it's the type is uh, web socket dot server okay that's oh, server and a function okay and then down the bottom we're going to export this function export curly bases all right so now we go back to the main and we will uh, pass our web socket through to the other file okay because uh, this file could get really huge and messy okay so that's why that's the reason why you know we want to what you call it uh, want to separate the file so we can you know find things a lot easier okay that's the reason okay that auto imports this file okay which is this this guy here and we're going to pass in the web socket okay web socket which is this guy here okay done now we go back to here and we start to make some uh, simple logics okay and then we'll do some testing and then tomorrow we we will get start with uh, media soup you know all the all the, good, all the good stuff okay and here first of all we need we, we need to grab this web socket uh, which is from here dot uh, connection oh sorry dot on oh hold on let me have a look what's going on here okay we haven't imported this yet we've got to import this guy okay we have to import him it didn't auto com uh, auto um what do you call it com auto import itself so web socket dot server here we go now now it's happy okay that that's the reason you know typescript is good because if you do something wrong uh, it will tell you where, where it's wrong see now we're getting all the awesome um auto completion okay even the events okay on connection what we're going to do is we're going to re uh, rename this to ws okay that's what that is and then we do a function okay and we do all our good stuff in, in here okay and let's make another one before we end this ws on message so we can test this out make sure you know it's all working message this event is for um when we send stuff into the server okay that's what this is message and call it it's a string okay we make sure it's a string okay for now we'll just console log it eh? console log uh, message and then we're going to console log the message and also to test it out we want to send it back to the user okay send uh, 
say hello, Will. Cool. Okay, let's spin it up. See if uh, see if it works. We go yarn death. Remember we made this this here. So we're gonna run this. I don't know if it's gonna run because we put media soup and we don't have media soup yet. Let's see. Yeah, it won't. It won't run. Okay, let's get rid of the media soup thing first. Uh, we'll put put it back later on. Okay, let me check what the problem is. Can't find module type script. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, we need to add another guy in. Yarn at type script dev. Alright, cool. Clear that. Um, dev. Okay, now we're happy. Okay, so we we need this. Um, I thought I had it installed globally, but it's a good practice to do this anyway. So we we've got it here. Now we spin it up a WebSocket client. Okay, I use this guy here. We can try this out. As you see, I have some, you know, some testing here already. So we go local hose, 8000, WS. Okay, let's connect. Here we go, we got it. We've connected on message. Okay, we, we, let's type something. Hello. Hello. And then send. See? Hello, world. Okay, now our socket, our web sockets is done. Like, basically uh, set up. Uh, this this video is a pretty short one because I'm only showing you how to set up the web socket. So we're ready to go tomorrow uh, with Media Soup. Okay, thank you for um, watching, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, and uh, we will have uh, many more at least another. We we on a day three, so we've got another 27 days on it, and the schedules will be down below. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and follow him and let's do this together. Thanks very much. See you tomorrow.